Hey guys, so Lord here, back in with another action figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Zabu Build-A-Figure Wave Cable. Specifically, Marvel vs. Capcom Cable, which I know has been on a lot of people's wish list, myself included, because I love me some MVC. However, this of course is brought to us by the fine folks over at Hasbro. And before we get too far ahead of ourselves, why don't we cut right to the chase and get into meat and taters of this review and take a look see at all Cable has to offer in terms of accessories. It ain't much, because it is Marvel Legends, but it ain't nothing either. Uh, starting off, he's got a pair of alternate hands. He's got a fist and a... Uh, that's a very aggressive looking uh, turn your head and cough hand if I've ever seen one. Um, he comes packaged with those, however, and he does come with a pair of trigger fingers, which are currently on him. That said, for those trigger finger hands, we do get a couple of X-Force looking blasters. I'm not sure if these are new or reused. I feel like one of them is. I think I've seen this one before at least once. This one is not ringing a bell, but uh, it might actually come with the uh, older cable figures. But um, you guys can let me know about that in the comments below. But that is your lot as far as accessories go. Would have been nice to get two fists. And two kind of style pose hands, but beggars can't be choosers, I guess. So, taking a closer look at this cable figure here, and I'm just going to say it. There's a reason I'm reviewing him first. That's because he's my favorite the wave. I really like this cable. I think they did a really nice job on him. And with uh, a lot of characters from the MVC game being released, as far as the Marvel side goes anyways... Um, Future's looking quite bright, if that's the display you're going for. So uh, as far as articulation goes, his head can look up and down. It's on the disc hinge there with uh, some rotation. You can look up and down on the ball itself. He does tilt side to side. I love this hair sculpt. That is 90s AF if I've ever seen it. He's got the little glowy effect in his eye. A lot of the cables do tend to have that. Um, the shoulders can go out about that far. Back down. Uh, how far does the robot arm go? I would say the robot arm gets a little bit less just because it is a new sculpt. This guy, I want to say, is on the uh, retro card Hercules, Hercules body. So that should give you an idea what the articulation's like. It does have 360 in the shoulder there. He's got a bicep swivel, double elbow. And he has a swivel in the wrist with a hinge, the appropriate hinge for holding weapons, I might add. The other uh, hands do have the appropriate hinges in them for the type of hands that they are, so that is good. I like that. Uh, the app crunch will lean that far forward and that far back. Now, he does have this floaty belt piece, which you can move, because he does have these little tabs that are... Uh, connected to the belt and they kind of flex when you move the ab crunch. Uh, I would just flex this down. You're going to use that. That way you're not flexing those pieces. I don't think it's something to worry about. I feel like the longevity of those, as long as you're not playing with this guy every freaking day of your life, um, those will be just fine. But, you know, just some food for thought there. He can kick out to the side. Not the best. Not the best, but it's okay. He can kick forward and back. He's got a thigh cut that will rotate all the way around, despite the uh, pouch on his thigh there. He does have a double pinless knee with the uh, knee pad there, so that's good. He's got a boot cut, which was a little gummy, so I had to heat him up, pop him off, and uh, put a little soap in there to lubricate things up, for lack of a better term. But uh, I think it's because it's so dang hot where I'm at right now, which is crazy, because I'm in upstate New York. It doesn't get that hot, but uh, it's been pretty hot lately. Even the soap's not really doing a whole lot. So, you know, be mindful of that. You don't want to break your toys. But uh, it's a lot better than it was. Without it, it was very gummy. With it, it's quite a bit less gummy. So I do like that. Um, you know, I don't mind the gummy plastic as long as my soap trick fixes it. Uh, that said, he does also have a hinge in the foot with a rocker. And that's your lot, man. Uh, really solid figure. I think they did a bang-up job with this guy. Again, he's probably my favorite figure of the wave. 
Uh, if I had to pick a favorite, you know, outside of the build a figure, of course, which we will get to, obviously, you just gotta be patient. Gotta save the best for last, right? Um, but in this case, we didn't. Uh, we did the best first, at least as far as the single figures go. So getting his guns in his hand, he's got a nice tight grip on those. So you don't gotta worry about him dropping them or anything. But uh, there you go. There is your MVC inspired cable. I'm sure he wore this suit in the comics too. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is his X-Men, you know, standard uniform. Most of the time, I remember Toy Biz had a little five-inch figure. This guy uh, back in the day, I used to have one of those. I think I sent it to. Uh, buddy of mine online but uh, either way with all that being said it is time now that we move right along and take a look at some size comparisons first up here's good old cable alongside the other x-men characters in the wave that you will need to complete the sabu build a figure we have the not he-man not conan himself kazar as well as fellow x-force member Wolf's Bane, however, we already got the X-Force version of Cable way back in the Sasquatch Build-A-Figure days. I actually quite like that version of Cable, despite the fact he does have the pins going on. Getting these two out of here so we can make room for our two regulars, however. We have the Mythic Legion's Brother Mandibulith right here. And the infamous Elephant Spawn. Who, despite the fact that Cable is on the Hercules, Hercules retro card body buck, good old Al Simmons still towers over everyone. So, with that being said, it is time now that we wrap things up. Some final thoughts. Overall, and if a Marvel vs. Capcom inspired Cable is what you wanted for your Marvel Legends display, then look no further, because I'm not sure when any other toy companies are going to get around to this iteration of the character and if you ask me it is probably the second version of cable that i prefer only to the tried and true x-force version we got way back in the sasquatch build a figure days so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this review until next time i'll catch you guys later